Hey everybody, welcome. Uh, Tim Turi here from Capcom Unity, joined by Fong Tran. Hey guys. Hey, so we're going to come at you with a double header here of Resident Evil action. Uh, we are going to start off by playing a little bit of Umbrella Core, followed by uh, some Resident Evil 5. Um, so throughout the stream here, we're going to be giving away some codes as well. We got, uh, we got Umbrella Core codes for Steam and PS4. Um, and we also have Resident Evil 5 codes for Xbox One and PS4. So we're going to get you guys uh, set up with some of those. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we also have some other cool things to, uh, to give away too, which I want to make sure that everybody is fully aware of. Um, so at the beginning of this first se segment here, we're going to give away, uh, these, are, these are Hot Toys, yeah. uh, Hot Toys brand Resident Evil 5 uh, collectible best, figures. Oh my do my God. best Vanna please, White. Please right do. For everybody. Um, so these are super awesome, really detailed uh, Resident Evil 5 figures. Uh, this Sheva one, actually, let's see, I don't know how easy it is to see how many doodads she comes with. The wrapping is still on here. Uh, she comes with so many weapons. She has pretty much everything here uh, that I think that she could carry in the entire game. Uh, you know, we got the sniper rifle, assault, the tactical shotgun, just her whole arsenal, uh, and even a little cloth, uh, her cloth apparel here, her BSAA uniform there. Um, so... On top of that, so that's going to be the first one that we give away, uh, which we're going to do some trivia uh, down, the, down the line there. Um, and then we're also going to go ahead and give away, after the second segment here, after we're done playing Resident Evil 5, uh, we have Albert Wesker himself in the, uh, the, the Midnight Wesker variant. So basically how we know him from Resident Evil 5, uh, he's rocking a trench coat. You can, I believe you can take the trench coat off as well. He's got Sweet. a rocket launcher, uh, all sorts of good stuff. Uh, he's got a Desert Eagle. Oh, man. He's got his uh, Cerberus shotgun. Man, he's got so many good things. Um, so that is that is Wesker there. Um, so stay tuned for that. We're going to kick things off by uh, checking out the, uh, the newest DLC. So um, we actually just uh, launched for free a, uh, a new piece of DLC for the, the mansion. Uh, so we're actually just going to hop in there, and I want to show people that off... Uh, just as a tour, basically. Consider this a tour of the <laughs> mansion, um, which uh, people should know if they played Resident Evil yeah. 1, which yeah. if you're watching, I hope you did. Um, but Recreation of the original mansion. That's right. Say. So while we're, while we're jumping in here, uh, Fong, you want to tell people a little bit about yourself? Yeah, um, Fong Tran um, started here pretty recently, a little over a month ago. Um, yeah, and here as an associate brand manager and helping out the team and Focusing a lot on Resident Evil yeah. and excited to, to, yeah, hop on stream and show it to you guys. Yeah, it's uh, it's been awesome to 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 have Fong on board and, you know, if people don't know me, uh, I am relatively new to the Capcom family, but been a lifelong Capcom fan. So yeah, I'm I'm Tim. I work with uh, Resident Evil stuff on the community and social media side Your as well. Um, oh man, all right, hold on. We uh, well, we what happened here? Uh, went ahead and <laughs> and went into the Umbrella Labs. Uh. So. Yeah, so Umbrella Core is out. It's out on PC and PS4 right now. It is a three versus three online competitive shooter. It's all set in the Resident Evil universe, um, and it's twenty nine ninety nine. So yeah. you can hop in, and then, like I said, the Mansion DLC went live this week, so you're actually able to uh, to to hop in there. And yeah, this is an important part. Uh, and as you see, you know, Kajuju, the village from Resident Evil Five. Nice. We got the village from Resident Evil Four here. Antarctic base from Code Veronica. Um, this is what we want. We want the mansion. Uh, how familiar are you with the mansion from Resident Evil 1? You know, I I mean, I'm very familiar with the lobby. Yeah. Because I think that's the most iconic shot, especially when you open up the big old French doors. Yeah. Um, aside from, like, the upstairs and everything, I don't really remember, you know, kind of the layout and all of the secrets. Um, but, yeah, I know that it's authentic recreation. It's, uh, it's interesting. Like, uh, I'm excited to give people a tour here um, because it seems to me... Uh, okay, ignore this. I'm actually going to just sprint to the front doors because, <laughs> like, it's so bizarre to be... I know it's a... You know, Umbrella Core is an a online multiplayer game, but to be started uh, not at the front of the mansion is insane to me. Right, uh, right. you got to get really... Here we go. Got used to it. All right, so here it is. We, we escaped from the wood, the, the fallen uh, helicopter, <laughs> uh, barely got in alive. Uh, you know, the door dogs... Door's chained shut. That's right. The, door, doors, the dogs are chasing you. The door's chained shut. 
um, which we could have used in the uh, the remake because you can open the doors and the dogs will come out and get you. So this is uh, yeah a full multiplayer map here in Umbrella Core. I am playing as the one, the only Barry Burton. I don't know if we can get a better look at Barry here. Uh, maybe if he takes some cover, but um, so this is very clearly inspired by the the Resident Evil remake uh, version of the mansion. Um, so. You know, we got uh, a few different areas we can go. Obviously, the mansion's huge. You yeah. can't you can't go everywhere. Um, some of the doors are locked down, but uh, this was something that was added in the remake. This little area nice. down here. Uh, this would lead to a, a fight with Lisa Trevor there. But you know, most of the time, the first place you'd go in Resident Evil would be to the dining room. So we can take a little tour in here and see what we see. So pretty uh, accurately recreated here. Um, but you can do things that you couldn't do in the first Resident Evil, like uh, like just crawl Ooh. underneath the table. It's good cover. That's right. Or just you know just to hide and wait this thing yeah. out. Also interesting is it's the mansion like in broad daylight, yeah. different tone. Definitely. Uh, so there's a few little Easter eggs like this is where the emblem would go, mm -hmm. and then that would move this clock and you'd solve a puzzle. <laughs> um, so. Now, should we explain why there are, there are zombies, of course, throughout the mansion? Yeah, They're yeah. not attacking you right now for some reason. That is because Barry here yeah. on his back. Let's see if we can get a, a look at it. It's, uh, it's his zombie jammer. There we go. You see, see it down there. Uh, Barry's got a little device called the zombie jammer, which pacifies these zombies and means that they won't mess with us. Um, but if that takes damage in a fight, then it'll start uh, going haywire and... Uh, they will st in sparking and everything, and they'll they'll be right on us. So, um, so this was actually a new area. So like this is where the first zombie attack is in all of Resident Evil uh, occurs right here, uh, and then in the remake they opened it up over here, so you could go and explore this area. Um, you usually wasn't crawling with zombies as it is now. There was a, <laughs> a few, a bit, uh, a few less zombies um, up in here. This place is is. Oh, did he take up my, my jammer? So now I might actually have some company. I actually have to worry I about it. I think it's because you didn't kill him with the one hit. That's true. Yeah, if you antagonize him, take a so they'll take a swipe. Yeah. Um, so this is a little extra area from the remake. Um, this will loop back around to above the dining hall. Um, so as you can see, I, I kind of did a loop around there. And they took some liberties here with uh, adding a little area that's usually in a different part of the, uh, the west wing from the mansion, which includes... Uh, some deer heads with, of course, gems. <laughs> uh, you got to put these in the tiger statue, and then you can yep. get some uh, extra stuff. And usually, he'd be pushing these to, to reach up. Well, you wouldn't be doing this with Barry at all, honestly. Uh, this would be Chris or Jill. But um, okay, so that is basically the west wing of the mansion map. Um, but and this is where the piano room is. Uh, you know, play Moonlight Sonata, open a door, elevator to the basement, and this is a little bit of a uh, a new addition. Looks like they're trying to open up the, the you know, the feng shui of the mansion a little <laughs> bit. Knocking down walls. Some DIY remodeling right there. Yeah, are you a DIY kind of guy? Paul? I definitely am. Yeah? So definitely not not as crazy destruction and, and reconstruction as this. But yeah, no kidding. Yeah, you know. Uh, Leaky faucet. That's yeah. good. Okay. You do so that kind of stuff. The basic stuff. <laughs> stuff that makes you feel useful. Yeah. Um, you know, if women can't find you handsome, they should at least be able to find you handy. It's true. As they always say. Uh, this is where the map of the first floor is in the in Resident Evil. This is also, this is a fun one, where uh, this is just a regular zombie encounter usually in here. But they put in the, this is where, like, if you get the special <laughs> key from Resident Evil 1, this is where you get all like the bonus costumes and stuff, which is just such a nice. Yeah. Of all the rooms I expected to see in the Umbrella Core yeah. map, I didn't expect to see that one. And then of course they blew out the walls. And of you course. Got up over it. Into the uh, east wing hallway, yeah. which where the dogs will uh, will jump through the windows and attack. <laughs> yeah. So we're about to run out of match time here. So real quick, just to show that you can get up to the uh, the top of the the east wing here. From, uh, from here, which this door would lead to the snake encounter, and then of course back into the main lobby. Um, so that is like, yeah, I guess it's actually the five-minute version of the tour of the mansion. <laughs> um, we're also going to see if we can hop into a uh, an online match here. Um, if not, if our if our network isn't exactly set up correctly, uh, we can play some experiment and yeah. and and whatnot. Uh, 
But yeah, so that's yeah, this is brand new. So if you uh, if you download Umbrella Core, you can hop into the mansion right now and and start playing the one life match, which is what we're playing. Uh, which is basically if you get taken out, uh, you know you have one one life per round. Mm -hmm. Really fast paced. Uh, there's also multi mission mode, which I think. Um, yeah, have you played around with multi-mission mode a little yeah, bit? Yeah, we have yeah. that one time. Yeah, yeah with all the uh, the press coming in. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, we had a nice press event and and got to play, uh, you know, DNA Hunter, which is, uh, you know, is taking down zombies and monsters to collect their DNA more than the other team that you win, or hunting down briefcases scattered throughout the matches, um, or throughout the maps. So back all the way out here. But maybe it is time to give away some Umbrella Core codes. I think... So what we're going to do here is start off with um, the PS4 version of the game. Cool. Um, we're going to give out... Uh, uh, we have th we have three codes to give out uh, for the PS4 version of the game. And the way that you can win is if you go... First of all, you need to be on Twitter, which is uh, which is a useful way to get information these days. Uh, and find the make sure you're following the at re underscore games account uh go to our profile page we're gonna have a pinned tweet at the top if you retweet that say something nice get some other people to join in on the on the stream here and win some cool stuff that will enter you for a chance to uh to win one of the codes so again go to the at re underscore games twitter account look at the top mm -hmm. tweet on that page uh retweet that maybe say something nice make sure you're following us because that's the way that we can message you the code uh so at the same time, you'll be getting maybe uh, helping out some of your friends win some codes and, and maybe win one yourself. So, um, oh, it looks like that one didn't work. Oh man, that was close too. It was I a know. full game as well. We would have had Leon on our team <laughs> too, or at least a mercenary wearing a Leon right. mask. Uh, which is also worth mentioning. The version, the codes we're going to be giving out for the game are the deluxe edition. Oh uh, sweet! Yeah, so you're going to actually be able to get immediate access to the add-on pack which uh, allows people to dress up their characters as uh, their mercenaries as, as Barry here. Yeah. You got Wesker, Leon, Chris, uh, Hunk, the original yep. fourth survivor himself, Mr. Death. Um, do, you have a, do you have a favorite Resident Evil character? Fall? You know, I'm partial to, to Leon, mm. you know, because out of all the REs I've played, I've played four the most, so I like him. Four survivors. Um, which I actually saw the... the like someone recreated his bomber jacket or something like that. Oh, it's really? It's going for like hundreds, uh, hundreds, the, hundreds the, of dollars. The RE6 uh, version? No, it's not the RE4 one. The RE4 one. With the, one, like with the, the leather, fur with and the everything? Fur okay, yeah. gotcha. Because he's more of a biker jacket in... Uh, oh, right, right. Yeah. yeah. So that's a, that's a good choice. Leon, you know, I think yeah. for a long time was, was one of my favorites. But um, I there was just something about Barry. I mean, like, my, my character here is Barry. Um <laughs> but he's just, uh, oh, oh, this is looking promising. Oh, we might actually be able to play nice. in the mansion as well. Sweet. Come on, everybody. Yeah, everybody needs to vote for the mansion. Come on, X Sniper Zombie XX, which is like the best, <laughs> like, that is the best ID, like, like uh, PSN ID I've seen in a while. It's like. Not enough Zs, though. Oh, it's classic. It could use maybe three more. Yeah. I think. Um, so hopefully this one will, <laughs> will have better luck with this one here. Um, so, yeah, Barry is just, there's just something so. Uh, Dad like about Barry? It's true. Uh, it, he just seems like uh, it's, it's the facial hair. It's it's the facial hair. It must be. It's the puns. Uh, yeah. I mean, not all puns, <laughs> but like just the weird one-liners. Like he's just ripped out of some you know B horror slash action movie. Yeah. Um, and he's reliable. Yuri. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna give away all three codes. So. Yeah, for the PS4 version of the game, uh, that was just our uh, uh, very helpful and handsome Yuri, uh, who Capcom Unity followers should know. Um, who? Oh yeah, let's look at our. Oh yeah, set we might here. as well customize while we're here. Yeah. So I've been rocking the the SMG, the yeah. K12 Axe primarily. Uh, it's just like a good all around. It's actually like the default it's true. weapon. True. Yeah. The if you look at the balance. The yeah. The umbrella stats, which is a uh, pretty good, which is a cool way to do that. I feel like I uh -huh. like that that visual graphic. Yeah. Uh, then there's the Doberman Pinscher, which has a super sharp uh, power and damage. Uh, oh yeah. Stats, but obviously the range falls off a cliff with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then I believe this is actually uh, you, you exclusive to the uh, deluxe edition, which is the Matilda, nice. which is basically with the stock on it too. right? Yeah, it's Oof. like a callback to RE2, where you can unlock the uh, the stock for. Leon's pistol and uh, mm. actually get three round bursts, Sweet. Um, which is great. 
Let's see how we're doing here. We're just waiting on one, one more person. And if you are, if you are playing Umbrella Core on PS4, or let's say you win one of these codes and are able to download it with lightning <laughs> speeds, I don't know you get kind of fiber you got running in your house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, obviously, you know, hop on in. Um, it's true. I might jump back out. See, so you're partial to the red. Yeah, you know, it's kind of Barry's look. Yeah. Uh, he. If you if you pay attention to like the the stars team members like everyone's got a color. Uh, uh, Barry is the red guy. Oh look, we got we got a six member. Oh hell yeah, thank oh, you. Oh yeah. Um, you know Wesker is wearing all black. Uh huh. Chris is in green. Jill's in blue. Uh, it's kind of like the Power Rangers. Oh, I had never. <laughs> Fong, I had never thought about that. But what would I, like what would the what would Barry's robot be like? Uh, if, a bear. Oh, like Barry. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, Jill would be uh, let's see, Jill Valentine. I, uh, I feel like a like a badass jungle cat. Yes, you know what I mean. Some sort of jaguar. A jaguar would be pretty yep, good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, see that. Chris Redfield. Although at the same, I could see Wesker being like a panther of some sort. Uh, which is very close. Oh, Wesker would be a good panther. Yeah, yeah that's true. Um, but he's uh, he's speedy, right? Yeah. And he'd yep. have like uh, oh, he'd have the red eyes, which would be perfect. As yes. long as a panther with uh, with sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna back out and, and give it another shot. Here. Oh man, that was a full game too. It was close. It's close. Um, I you know I've, I've had an easy time finding uh, matches yeah, so far. Nice. Um, of course, as soon as you go to stream. <laughs> that's when that's when you, you start having problems with it, right? Like that's the uh, mm -hmm. that's how it goes. All right, so Jill's got some sort of jungle cat. Bear Barry is a, a giant robot bear. Mm -hmm. um, oh, this is oh a yes. Game. You know I'm partial to uh, the village from RE4. The village is a good one because I you know the layout. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. You have it memorized. You know if you can go up in the belt. Totally. Tower. Yeah. And it, it and it translates well to a game like this too. Yeah. It's really surprising where there's just a lot of cover, a lot of like flanking points and and yeah, there's just a lot of like um vantage points from yeah. up top where you can take care yeah, take hop out on the people. Roofs. So yeah. Um and then of course there is a we we're talking about multi mission mode. If you play the S P DNA Hunter mode, which makes it so there's a special monster variant some that'll appear in the map. Uh It'll be a, a Ganado with the Plagas coming up its head oh, with the, sweet. the s tentacle scythes flying yeah, all over the place. Yeah, as it should be. Absolutely. Correct. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to try to stick close here to sweet. Monster Costar and burst a 26. <laughs> uh, yeah, what's great is I know exactly where you are in the map just right when we started because it's just such an iconic map. You just know where everything is. That's right. It's uh, the small variant of it. Uh, yeah. It's like cordoned off a little bit. Yeah. But that just makes it for more fast-paced uh, yeah maps here all right Ooh, everybody's being very quiet yeah i like it oh, oh. shoot Just get out of there oh uh, yeah yeah my, right. my jammer's, jammer's down. busted so that means i gotta run around like a maniac <laughs> uh in order to not get yep. flanked by a bunch of ganados which will probably yep. be my undoing yeah or you just gotta take him out oh, oh. oh he's using the brain oh, oh, oh. oh did i actually I, I the think zombies I got, got you i think what happened to that guy? Did I get him? I think you got him. Oh, that was really close. Yeah. So who is, looks like, oh, you guys are about to win? We need one looks more like kill. like there's one person, yeah, only one person up on the other team. Yeah. I could use the win, too. Oh, it looks like the crows are attacking Bursta. Oh, come on, Bursta, hang in there, man. <laughs> All right, so Yuri has just informed me that you should check your Twitter. Uh, if you did retweet our uh, uh, our tweet spreading the word about the stream um, you have you now have a chance uh, that you could have won the the PS4 deluxe edition of Umbrella Core um, so yeah nice check it out let us know if you won hop into the chat let us know uh, who won that uh, we did Ooh, very nice. we won job burst keep it rolling we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna pass the controller a little bit here uh, see if we can keep the the good times rolling yeah you can help me earn some XP Mm -hmm. So I can get some more weapons. Look at that. You did get that guy. Look, kills one. Hell yeah. yeah. Of course I did. I was this close to switching over to the Brainer, <laughs> which if people don't know, I have a hunch I, on a small map and knowing Fong's play style that you're uh, probably going to try out the Brainer. You know, <laughs> it seems, that seems right. I, I didn't think about it until you're, you said it. You're so, so fast with this Let's thing. See. If you can get someone in his sights and hit the right trigger, he'll yep. auto... Oh, 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 wait, oh, where right. is he? Is he up top? I don't know. I don't know where he went. Is he? Oh, oh, he's in the little hidey. Uh, wow. Of course. So, 
All right, all right. Now, okay. Man, that was my – I shouldn't have gone around – I shouldn't have turned around and backtracked. It's you know? it's how it goes, you know. Like, <laughs> it, you, I thought that he was above you, yeah. to tell you the truth. But yeah, that's what I thought too. So the Brainer essentially is like this uh, – Badass melee weapon. Uh, it kind of it reminds me of a climbing axe, yes, like a climbing definitely. tool uh, that you can heat up. Which you can cl use it to climb in this game. That is yeah. true. Uh, you see some parts of the environment that have arrows pointing up, and you can actually use the axe to traverse up and get a vantage point, uh, save some time compared to, to ladders. And uh, but if you get the drop on your enemy, mm -hmm. oh man, uh, you, you click into like, these really brutal takedowns, which yeah. we will pull off here. Oh, it looks like Bursta is getting attacked by some zombies. Come on, Bursta! Oh, there's like three of them in that room too. Oh, oh did, he, did, oh. He, did he grenade himself? I don't know what happened, <laughs> but burst Oh, no, never mind. Someone was it? Hey. Nepu Gear. Uh, appropriate uh, demise for a yeah. guy named Bursta. <laughs> uh, but the uh, we'll, we'll, if we don't get someone with the uh, with the Brainer, we will at least be on the receiving end of yeah. a Brainer kill. As long as there's some sort of Brainer action, I'm happy. That's right. Very few matches are a no-Brainer. You know what I'm saying. You know, <laughs> hey, sorry about Ooh. that, everybody. Sorry. We'll have more. Please, please keep watching. We have more stuff to give away. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, but, Yuri, how uh, how is everybody doing? We still have a oh, all right. Awesome. All right. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, Yuri, let me know that people have uh, chimed in and, and let us know that they got the, the codes, which we'll have more. We're going to be giving away some, some Steam codes coming down the line, and those are going to be the deluxe edition, too. So you can hop on, hop on and check out Umbrella Core um, and get that uh, sweet, sweet mansion DLC Proceed going. All right. <sighs> How's this going to go? It's tied up right Let's now. Let's see. Oh, it is tied up. That's okay. right. Confirmed. Okay. All right. Come on. I, li I like your strategy so far. Oh, shoot. I saw him. He's around yeah. the corner. Uh, okay. okay. Let's see here. Oh what? Oh, what? It's like Bursa's in that little cubby hole instead now. Who was that? Who got what else? Where did I get hit from? Oh, oh right there! Was, <laughs> was there a crow? <laughs> he just on ran me? out. There was a crow, but also someone got outside. Oh no! Oh, no! No! Right no! In. No! He's not right in there too. not like this. Is he in here? No. He's the main entrance. Yeah. Oh, Bursa's taking him out. Come on! Just gotta get. All right! All right! Oh! Come on! <laughs> He did the quick, uh, I was on the edge of death, so he was able to do the, uh, if you click in the right analog stick, you do a faster oh, melee attack right, with right. it. Not with, not with the Brainer. And right. I, I went in for the, uh, the full on, I, see. I thought I had that, man. I mean, you have to at that point, right? Uh, woof. He totally knew you were coming, too. Wow. Oh, man. That looks like Bursta's in that little cubby hole. I really want it so that it's, I'm the, like... The last person on my team looking for the last person on the other team, and I can say, Where'd everybody go? Bingo. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's what I'm waiting for. Yeah. Well, it looks like Bursta the Monster Co star kind of set up shop in that house. Come on, guys. Come on. It's been fun uh, showing Umbrella Core to. Uh, we, we took it around to events like PAX and uh, WonderCon and, and uh, some of the different conventions and seeing people like be in the uh, in the, the village from Resident Evil 4 and just like automatically be able to know exactly where they are uh -huh. uh, and know the layout of the map which is yeah. like it's always been my dream is to like I don't know go do like a paintball like and it'll be a recreation of some classic like golden eye level or oh, something yeah. and I just know it in and that out that would be sweet yeah well it looks like we're definitely I think our team is carrying us I think Tim. I think we'll be alright yeah because they they just set up shop in the house Look at Kokuya is trying to flank them. Come on, Kokuya, don't get... Oh, he switched back. He was trying the Brainer strategy for a while, which is a good <laughs> last ditch. Oh, like he's get oh. hey. Uh-oh, one versus one. Monster Costar has the life advantage. Uh, Very, ever so slightly. This is one thing that I like about uh, Umbrella Core specifically, is like just knowing what's going on in the map uh, after after you're out, mm -hmm. um, which which gives you something to do while you're playing one life mode, yeah. which is oh. a little bit more... Kosai's going to grenade him. Come on, come on! Don't let Koku. Yeah, hey. Are oh. zombies taking him out? Oh yeah, his jammer. His jammer's down. What? Oh, oh what? <laughs> he went for the glory. I think. I think he knew that we were streaming him or something. He went for the across the map brainer. He did. It was the the hail mary. Yeah. Oh my gosh. He got dunked. I give him credit for that though. That's good. Yeah. Well, uh, it's not over yet. Obviously. No. And. Uh, all right. Let's see. We definitely we, need to pull our weight, though. We do need to win this round. 
We do need to win this round. <laughs> Alright. Like so I think what our team wants to do, we want to just post up shop somewhere. So I'm gonna go slow. Let's take it down. Not gonna go for the brainer. Nothing like that. Stay, stick together. Yeah, I think that's, we're just gonna stick together. That's what I've been doing a poor job right. of so far. Yeah. Uh, especially in you know a three versus three, like super fast paced shooter. Uh, I feel like yeah. Just See, Mazako Star has the right idea right here. Yeah. And and he was the he's got the most survivability. It's like yeah. you could just cover his back and, yeah. and be a productive. That's my that's my plan right here. If someone oh. tries to flank him, well, I'll take him out. That's right. That said, if someone grenades us, I think it's game over speaking for us of, on the second floor. Speaking of grenades, I think usually in RE4, in the cabinet just to your right, there would be a grenade. That's right. Uh, and this and right here? In what would be right here? I think shotgun. Yeah. The shotgun's in this room for sure, yeah. It is. Uh, All right. Which, What's going on? I'm trying to... Oh, you can hear someone trying to hear up. the audio. Yeah. Oh, oh hit, heads up. Oh, no. oh, so it's close. That's another thing about the uh, the cover mechanic in Umbrella Core is that you can blind fire. So if you're if you're posted up in cover, mm -hmm. depending on how hard you press the uh, the left trigger, you will kind of like feather up over cover and right. you can uh, blind fire, which is we were on the receiving yep. end. Of. Pong, it was a good. I end. think I got some good licks in though. Yeah, but ultimately we got licks. Yeah, yeah. I should have should have grenaded him. That's yeah. what it should have been. You know what? Can't beat yourself up over this. <laughs> Even though we did lose this round and then the match. Right. <laughs> we did our best. Yep. Honestly. That's uh, and true. So that's that's one life match. Uh, we should click over into some uh, some multi mission. Yeah. To check out the variety, which is, you know, there's certain ones like I do better when it's about like quickly killing all the, the zombies and all the other monsters in the map and collecting their DNA to win the match. Because mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I feel like the other team's always just so focused on murdering me uh, <laughs> and like and just taking me out that I they wanna, you can actually stay on task and win those ones compared right, to just right. all a death match. Oh, okay. Got to snap in here. I feel like I'm letting Barry down. I did, we didn't even get most assists. Uh, I don't think cause there, were, there weren't very many assists, yeah. actually. All right. You helped me squeak nice. just into level six. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see what we got. Jammer Buster. Oh, yeah. You might be able to guess what that does. Right. <laughs> uh, so you toss that, and yeah. zombie jammers in a certain uh, uh, zone won't work. So you got to be careful. Um, all right. I personally like the sticky bomb. That one's cool. Yeah? Especially Which in a game where you know you want to move around and you know, you're in close quarters combat. And like getting stuck on the ground, and like say your your zombie jammer is busted too, it's just game over. Yeah, yeah. It's so you feel like the sticky grenade just helps you get oh, that yeah. last ditch, just like yeah, parting shot. Uh, that's a good. It's a good strategy. And it's kind of like set it and forget it. Right. So you land it. I don't even need to bother with you anymore. I just run away. That's right. <laughs> just like hey man, I don't even need to be here. Yeah. For this. Yeah. So it's showing off. We got the uh, the mercenary with the with the briefcase. Uh, one with a with a DNA vial. Um, for DNA sampler, uh, let's see here. Let's jump back in here. Uh, someone trying to control the. Uh, there's sort of a domination style mm -hmm. uh, match, so and it'll cycle through all of them randomly. So you get a good variety when you're going in there. Uh, the zombies seem better days, but that zombie's like super not coming back. <laughs> no, not at all. I feel like. Oh man. Um, so again, if you're just if you're just joining us, we're going to be giving away some more. Uh, Umbrella Core Deluxe Edition uh, Steam Codes uh, in a moment. Um, we are also going to be giving away um, a Sheva Alumar uh, Hot Toys. We got Hot Toys Video Game Masterpiece. Um, we're going to be giving that away just at the end of this Umbrella Core segment, and then we're going to be following up with a Wesker variant, which is awesome. Yeah. Um, she has so many, so much gear here. She has like shotgun, sniper rifle, grenades. The whole, she brought everything. It's like the scene in The yep. Matrix where Neo <laughs> makes all of the weapons appear. Oh, right. And she's just like, well, I'll just take one of everything. Yeah. Thank you. Why not? Um, so if this one oh, loads. Did we, I think we got into a full match. Is that what's about to happen here? Let's see. Oh, oh there you we're go. close. We're close. Very close. Oh, here we go. They're filling it all oh, in. Oh, we got Shinobi. I like that Shinobi X has customized his character to look like an actual Shinobi. That's well done. That's great. Yeah, hey man, we could use Ninja Warriors on our team any day. Yeah. Uh, Barry didn't even show up with his helmet on, <laughs> which is like no need. 
What a what no a need. goof. Yeah. It what just a, gets in the way, honestly. He knows. It, the beard. <laughs> it can't be contained. Yeah. Uh, oh, here we go. Full match. Yeah. So I voted for the Tricell headquarters, which if people... Sounds cool. It's appropriate. We're, we're going to play yeah. some Resident Evil 5. Tricell is the, the new evil corporation in Resident Evil 5. Uh, and this is like we're checking out their headquarters. Or, or what remains of their headquarters, anyway. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so we're going to give away some more uh, Umbrella Core codes for the Deluxe Edition. These are the Steam codes. How you're going to get, how you qualify to win one of these codes is go to our Twitter page, the at RE underscore games. Uh, on the very top of the page, there's going to be a tweet for this live stream. Uh, retweet that. Share that with your friends. And you uh, we and make sure you're following us, and that way we can message you, and, and you'll know if you want a code. So, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Say, <laughs> yeah. For those Wait, that are some just, people uh, actually just quoted something nice. Yeah. Okay, that's cute. They follow instructions. I get what you're they going for, uh, <laughs> but if you could say just like, hey, if you're having fun and you like winning the free stuff, uh, people should should tune in um, and check out Umbrella Core and RE5. So yeah, just go to dogs. Go to RE underscore games on Twitter and uh, and say something nice and or something other than something nice and retweet that and make sure you're following us and we will <laughs> message you with uh, free stuff. Yeah. I have forsaken my previous vow to follow my team. Yeah. Uh, well, but this this is a different objective though. So if you look at the bottom left, you have to capture and defend the position. Oh, well, that's true. So right there in the middle. There you go. I don't know. If, well, oh, nice oh. job. Well, I mean, I did something yeah. there. I was just about to say, I think going prone in the blue highlighted area <laughs> is just hey. asking for a grenade. But hey, Fong. It worked. I have my you strategies. <laughs> you have yours. And, you know, like, thank God we're not on the same team because maybe we'd be <laughs> button heads here. Uh, but, yeah, you're probably right. That was maybe a little. All right. So it looks like I think the position just moved, right? It did. I'm yeah. on my way. All right. Actually, you know what? Oh, oh, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was really, that was really, really. Yeah. Uh, probably not. Two good. versus one. I mean, the brainer is pretty good. Not yeah. that good, unfortunately. I should. Unless, unless did you did you pull up your left arm to kind of try to block some shots? Uh, you know, you can you can maybe get a few uh, yeah. shots out of the way there, but that was just stupid. God, this it's probably about to move. So maybe I'll just hang tight. Yeah, eight seconds looks like. Maybe it's gonna appear up here. That's true. It could. Now I'm not gonna switch one. my brainer. And oh, it's behind you. Nice. Hey. Look at that. Where are they? That's good strategy. Nice. Oh, oh, that was my grenade. Oh wait. Oh, to your left. Oh. Oh, oh, look at that. You oh, oh, that was a miss. I, I got him though. I think you I got, got him. him. I think you got him. Or the dogs got him. But my jammer went down. So how are we doing here? Oh, we're in the lead. We need uh, 16 more seconds. Yep. Okay. All right. It's really close. Is this another case where I should wait it out? But they're not even scoring points, so. Yeah, it's really close. Wait, is that? Oh, one of my favorite Somewhat. things is if uh, if you can't actually see where the uh, the enemies are, you can look on your map, and if their jammer's down, there's usually like a trail of zombies or, or <laughs> dogs following them. That is true. All right, where is it now? Looks like it's behind you. It's like below me and. Here? Oh, oh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's in the lab, maybe. Oh, okay. Oh, he did not see you coming. Nice job. Come on. Come on. Oh, I'm this should be game. I'm going rogue. I'm yeah. just... Make your victory. Oh, wait. All right. Uh-oh. I think one of your teammates just got taken out to the left. Right there. No! <laughs> okay, so there we got to see one of the takedowns. Okay. <laughs> But you hey. guys still won. All right. Awesome. Nice Bonk. job. You're up. All right. All right. Multi-mission. For me, when I, I like I like competitive shooters, uh -huh. uh, my reflexes aren't what they used to be. Uh, uh, I see. I play, I've played a lot of them in my day, uh, but mm -hmm. I feel like... Oh, wait. are we? Is it three versus two? Do I... Uh, do I'm going to say they left right when you guys won. Uh, we demoralized them too much? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Because of what... If you're gonna tell me that the only reason we won that is because it was three versus two, I, I don't know if I'm prepared right, for that. Right. But when right. there's an objective, I can usually do better. In, uh, oh, so it looks like we are the target. That's right. Okay. <laughs> oh, so no. the only way the other team can uh, can score is by killing Fong. So he should stick as close to uh, yeah. His I teammate. should. Oh, no. charge it up! Charge it up! Oh no 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 no! I should run away. I think is what I should do. 
Oh, I got away. Wait. Well, I'm it's because it's grenade. just... Whoa, that was a good... Gr <laughs> actually, that was a good grenade. So so they scored a point because they took right. you out. And now uh, it's going to switch. Where were my teammates? Well, you, you, you abandoned them <laughs> almost immediately. I think they abandoned me. I want to I wanna play that. All right. I'll accept that. So now it looks like we got a protect Shinobi. Is that what it is? Oh! Uh, all right, so there he is. Now he's gonna have company. Oh, <laughs> he had a uh, he had an escort. He did. You know he's got you got the target, and then he had his one escort, and then he had a guy coming up from behind. I see. And he got pincered. Double envelopment. All right, all right. Okay, so now our teammate is the target. We gotta protect him, wherever he is above me. Yuri, Let's should see. I tell people to to go ahead I'm and check their twitters? Him. Not yet. Okay, so. All right, took someone out. Did oh, but I think my jammer was out. Ah, uh, and the, these uh, some depending on where you are on the map, it can be really tight quarters. So, right. Um, yeah, you have to watch out, watch your back. The dogs are fast. Well, they are on the brink of victory, so we need to. Ooh, we need to watch out. Here he is. Where's your he? target? He's right in front of you. Is that him? Oh, oh. you took each other out. <laughs> uh, which definitely happens more in in Umbrella Core than I've seen in some other competitive shooters, which makes it really intense, I feel like, oh, which yeah. is like, you know, just sort of exchange blows and you're both gone, <laughs> you know? <laughs> All right. Okay. This is close. That is close. Honestly, like, I, from showing this game off at the the, sh the trade shows I was talking to you about, like, it always, multi-mission always is close. It's al It always comes down to mm -hmm. the wire for me anyway. All right, what do we got? Collector. So there's right. five briefcases. This one can be over super fast. Uh, if we just find them all, this is how professional this right. thing's probably inside here. Nice. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no. That was, was, that was really yeah. foolish. I was like, mm. that was really <laughs> foolish. But, you know, you have to hold all the briefcases at once. Uh, yeah. It looks like it's pretty close here. Well, My we got, looks like we got two. They got one. Team's doing all right. Yeah. Wait, wait. Who's on me? So. Uh oh, brain about oh. all. Uh. <laughs> maybe the strat, maybe the new strat is to go for the quick kill because everyone's gonna try to lock on That's and do true. the fast one. Maybe I'll, maybe well, I'll maybe try shotgun. That. Honestly. Oh yeah, because if someone's charging at you with a brainer and you just pop them once with a shotgun. And that is a really good. That's point. all it should take. That is a good point. Right. Oh. Well, that it was, was a quick just, kill too. It was just a, just Man, a drive by dry brainer. Yeah. It was a quick and kill. Did he, I don't even know if he saw you around in that doorway either. It was just... No. All right. I'm going to change right. strategies. Yeah. Well, it looks like it's we have two briefcases to three. Oh, here we go. Oh, he does not see you coming. <laughs> Come on. It's very close. Here we go. Oh, no. It's oh, right around It didn't the even matter. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> just go for the the, the post game dunk. Look at, look at that pose. Oh, he's oh, he's, now, he's flexing. You know what? <laughs> Is there a dab emoticon? Can you can you dab? <laughs> I wish. Yeah. There are animals though. That's true. I like I, the animals. I think I have the uh, the doggy on my. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, I don't know if you have it on one of your quick selects though. Uh, it should it should be on one of them, but it. it's it all right. It's not all as right. good as the cat. Oh no! This is the, the special DNA sample. Oh yes, yeah, so this is SP DNA Hunter. Uh, we just heard a blood curdling scream, which means yep. that there is a special uh, monster Where type, is he? and you can only win by taking him down. And usually, I feel like you only ever have time to take him down once or maybe twice. He has a lot of he has a lot of health, and he can do a lot of damage. Yeah, and I feel like you don't want to be the one to see him first and start the damage. You wanna, you wanna let him, you know, get damage and then have someone else try to right. take him out, and then you just go in for the kill still, you know. That's right, and it, it creates this weird dynamic where, you know, the other team's there and like the focus is to do damage to the monster, but you also want to take them out because yep. it's just this tenuous alliance. I mean, right of. now, I, right now, oh, ooh, Barry. I was just going to okay. try to zone him out, you know, let my other teammate get it. Why didn't you hit the button to call in Barry's giant uh, <laughs> mechanized bear? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Gundam. I don't know. Zordon was down, uh, I guess. Yeah. It happens. Sorry, guys. Uh, Zordons are underneath, uh, are on server maintenance right now. <laughs> All right. 
So, let's see where they are. Here he is. Ah, uh, okay, so the uh, question is uh, if you can cook your grenades. Uh, right, right. Essentially. That's a good question. Um, I usually just uh, chuck it and forget it. But. Yeah, I think it also depends on the grenade itself. Like, I think if you're using, for example, my favorite, the sticky one, it'll just explode on impact, too. Mm, gotcha. Um, wow. Whereas, yeah, the typical kind of grenade will have a timer. Oh, was I getting shot from? Uh, there's the. <laughs> Oh, and uh, Yuri also just let me know. We'll uh, we'll throw a grenade here pretty soon, and, and we can check it out. <laughs> but, uh, so if you check your Twitter account, uh, check your messages. Um, if you did retweet our uh, our initial tweet about this, the uh, the stream and say something nice to your followers, uh, that entered you a chance to win some of our our codes here for oh, yeah. Uh So check your message, your inbox right now, and see if uh, see if you got oh. it. And there's the shotgun, just like you were yep. saying before. Almost so. got him, though. And again, that's going to be for the Deluxe Edition. If you didn't win any Umbrella Core codes, just as a heads up, we're playing RE5 after this. We're going to go into Resident Evil 5 for uh, PS4. We're going to be playing on PS4. It's also on Xbox One. Uh, and giving away some codes for that and also... Uh, oh. And oh, here we go. I smell Brainer coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So after this match, oh, which it's, it's coming down to it, um, we are going to go ahead and give away the Sheva Elamar uh, figure. Uh, which I can do as as Fong's continuing to play, actually. Yeah. Um, I think I just helped kill the uh, special DNA sample with my grenade, oh, by the way. Oh, Fong, nice work. Hey, yeah, the, look at the that. MVP, SP DNA Hunter. Uh, well, all I did was hold a grenade, and then someone killed me, and then it blew up after. <laughs> hey, man, he got the job done. <laughs> hey. Actually, I think the I think the special DNA zombie killed me. Oh. That's that's what made me drop the grenade. So smart. It's it. like martyrdom. Yeah. Um, all right, so we're going to give away the, the Sheva Alamar figure here by asking a trivia question. Yuri is going to go ahead and post a trivia question into the chat so everyone can see it at once. So eyes on your chat and, uh, and make sure that you're, you're, you're paying attention to this, this trivia question. Yuri, let me know when you dump it in there. Okay. Uh, and then you're going to respond in the chat and... Uh, we're going to keep an eye out for the first person to re reply, and they will get this awesome Hot Toys Shiva LMR uh, figure. One, one sixth scale, yep. I believe, which means, um, you know, if you got six of these and grafted them all together, <laughs> they'd come to life. No, that's not how it works. Is that not right? Oh, oh. <laughs> Full size Shiva LMR oh. right on your dresser. Uh, and of course, we'll all announce, I'll say what the trivia is question is, if you're not looking, but uh, you're going to want to listen to chat. The uh, weapon set that you have. Oh, I wasn't able to switch yet. Ooh, are you in like some sort of lab area? Nice. I was, yeah. Now, Right now, the, the objective is just a rack of kills, so. I'm going for the brainers. Oh, yeah, you're playing just, uh, is it just respawn mode? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, re respawn mode being more classic deathmatch style. Oh, no, that's an ally. Hey. <laughs> Itchy. Itchy tasty. Oh, here, oh, we, here go. we go. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Yes! Oh, all right. Oh, all right. That feels so good. Very nice. I, need a, I think I need to help my ally clear out these zombies, though. He's, he's getting attacked. Yuri, did we oh, already man, uh, post the trivia question? Just a second. Okay. Okay, gotcha. So, uh... Saw someone right here. You want to... You want, okay. <laughs> this Shotgun. Is, this okay, this will go. decide it. This match will decide it. Two to two. Like I said, it's always close. It is. I was making that Very up. Very close. Yeah. So I was looking for. I was looking for a shotgun. There's a Here question, Yuri. Doberman, we're in this. Oh. oh. I wanted to even bother looking down the sights. All right. Yuri, did you say there was a question? Oh, sure. Here we go. Oh, okay. So the trivia. Carcinogen. S okay, of course it was. All right. So carcinogen being uh, uh, one of the most uh, beloved and proficient and prolific uh, Resident Evil streamers out there. Uh, he he knew the answer. Uh, the question was uh, where, who, which organization was responsible for uh, destroying Sheva Alamar's home? The answer, Fong. Do you know the answer? Tricell. 
No? <laughs> or Umbrella. Yeah, it's, 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 it's one of the two. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was Umbrella, of course, and Carcinogen, uh, who, if you aren't familiar with Carcinogen and you like chat, uh, Twitch, you should definitely check out his channel. Uh, he's awesome. Uh, nice work, Carcy. Very nice work. Uh, Carcy. I like the... Uh, that's oh. all right. Well, you know, I am busy. It is. And he's in the Tricell yeah. match, which is just how it goes. My so. hatred for Tricell oh. is very high right now. Can, so. I, can I say how... And we did just win. Just say, Fong? So. <laughs> nice, nice work, man. Uh, so Can I get the figure now? Because I won? Uh, well, we have to take it up with Carcinogen. Oh. Uh, but I'm sure, you know, I, I don't know how much of a, of a Resident Evil fan he yeah. is. I don't know. Maybe he doesn't want <laughs> it. Uh, so uh, congrats, Carcinogen. And thanks to everyone for watching. We're going to click over into RE5 and play some co-op. We're going to have Kellen come on. Uh, and then, so this one's going to Carcinogen. Congrats. Um, I'll show it again. They want to see it again? Okay, yeah. I, can, I can show it off here. So this is what Car Carcy won here. Um, and maybe I can actually give a little bit there of a glimpse. I can hold it for you. Of all of the doodads that she has here, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's oh so glossy. Gosh. It's so reflective. Maybe just the back The back of the box is pretty nice. That's a good point, Fong. Here we go. So, yeah, there there is the uh, the Sheva Alomar uh, Hot Toys 1-6 uh, scale RE5 figure. And check this out. Stay tuned for the Resident Evil 5 part of the stream where we're going to be giving out more codes for that game on PS4 and Xbox One. We're also going to be giving away the, uh, to, at the very end, the, uh, the Albert Wesker. Uh, so, yeah, you can own Wesker, the midnight version. Um, this thing's awesome. I, I looked it up also. They're really rare uh, and valuable and stuff. So uh, if you know your, your Albert Wesker trivia, stay tuned for the end of the stream. And, nice. and, and spread the word. Um, so we will be back shortly once we switch over. Thanks, guys. And thanks, Fong. <laughs>